Today, we are going to look at a BodyViz brain builder about the cerebrum and epilepsy. Epilepsy, a neurological condition, is characterized by reoccurring seizures, which are sudden and temporary disruptions of brain activity. In this brain builder, we will discuss the anatomy of the brain and delve into the cerebral hemispheres. We will explain what a seizure is, the different types of epileptic seizures, and the most common forms of treatment. The nervous system is comprised of two subdivisions, the peripheral nervous system and the central nervous system. The PNS contains all of the nervous tissue outside of the CNS. The CNS is composed of the spinal cord and the brain. Within the brain, there are the cerebral hemispheres, the brainstem, and the cerebellum. The brainstem is divided into the diencephalon, the midbrain, the pons, and finally, the medulla. The cerebrum, divided by the longitudinal fissure and connected by the corpus callosum, forms the brain's left and right cerebral hemispheres. Each hemisphere consists of a cerebral cortex of neuronal gray matter and a layer of white matter. This layer is composed of neuronal processes, basal ganglia, and glial cells. Glial cells help maintain the intercellular environment of the nervous system and provide a supporting network. The cerebral cortex is responsible for a brain's thought processes. The frontal lobe, which is the largest lobe of the brain, contains the primary motor area, the premotor area, and prefrontal areas. The parietal lobe houses the primary sensory area and the cortical association area of the brain, which perceives and interprets sensory information. The temporal lobe contains the primary auditory cortex, which receives auditory sensory information, and the primary olfactory cortex, which receives olfactory sensory information. In the occipital lobe, you can find the visual cortex, which receives and interprets visual information. The limbic lobe is responsible for behaviors that are essential to species preservation. Next, let's discuss the white matter of the brain. White matter is the medullary core of the cerebral hemispheres and contains three types of neuronal fibers. Projection fibers carry neuronal information from the cerebral cortex to various locations throughout the CNS. Association fibers link multiple cortical regions within the same hemisphere. And lastly, commissural fibers form the interconnections of cortical regions between both hemispheres. Epilepsy is a medical condition characterized by the occurrence of two or more recurring seizures. Unlike isolated seizures that can be triggered by various factors like fever or injury, epilepsy involves the regular manifestation of seizures. In a healthy brain, electrical activity flows smoothly and orderly throughout neurons and their processes. However, in epilepsy, this electrical activity becomes unpredictable and imbalanced leading to abnormal bursts of activity known as seizures. Next, we will look at the symptoms, causes, and treatments for epilepsy, and then give a patient example. Epileptic symptoms can include muscle spasms, loss of consciousness, confusion, and uncontrolled body movements, typically lasting from seconds to minutes. There are two types of seizures. A generalized seizure is a seizure that begins with abnormal electrical activity in both sides of the brain at the same time. The second type of seizures are focal seizures. This type begins with unusual electrical activity in only one specific region of the brain, but can extend to other locations. Abnormal electrical activity in the brain causes epilepsy. Seizures without an identifiable cause increase the likelihood of further seizures within six months. Experiencing two seizures raises the risk of recurrent seizures throughout one's lifetime. Alcohol or drug use, failure to take prescribed medications, stress, and lack of sleep can all increase the chance for more frequent seizures. The treatment of epilepsy primarily revolves around three approaches, anti-epileptic medications, or AEDs, dietary changes, and surgery. Finally, let's take a look at a patient example. You receive your patient's file and take a look. Age, 15. Sex, female. Chief complaints, recurring loss of consciousness. You invite the patient into your office for an examination. 
Your patient frequently experiences episodes where she suddenly loses consciousness without any apparent cause or trigger. You decide to perform a variety of tests, including an EEG, electroencephalogram, to see if this patient has epilepsy. You confirm that she has epilepsy. Accordingly, she is recommended to change her diet and begin the process of starting an anti-epileptic medicine. You prescribe your patient anti-epileptic medicine after many discussions regarding the type of drug and dosage specific to her type of epilepsy. As your patient is not showing signs of medical resistance, she will take medication rather than undergo surgery. This is the start of a partnership between the physician and the patient, working together to create a healthy and normal lifestyle. This is a classic example of epilepsy. Thank you for watching this Brain Builder video. Please like and subscribe to our BodyViz channel or, if you are new at BodyViz, check out our other anatomy resources and schedule a demo at bodyviz.com.